Hello everyone, this is Amit Don of AmitDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and brief review video and I'll be presenting the MPAL H10 Dual Mic Active Noise Cancelling Headphones 2019 edition. I've been looking for an active noise cancelling uh, head, uh, headphones uh, for a while uh, but uh, if you look at uh, brands like Sony or Bose or other brands some of them can be uh, three four hundred dollars and I didn't want to spend that much money so I decided to uh, buy the MPAL uh, H10 because this is a fairly a cheap uh, product and uh, there are very high ratings on Amazon so I just wanted to give it a try and if it doesn't work out then I wouldn't be uh, I don't have to worry about anything because this is very cheap. Uh, this is not a paid or any affiliated re reviews. There are no affiliated links. All my reviews are non-affiliated, unbiased and honest. So I don't take any money from anyone and I purchased this with my own money. So let's uh, go ahead and open up the box and uh, then I'll talk about how the product feels and works. So I have here everything that came inside the box. Uh, let's take a quick look at the box and uh, it says noise reduction headphones and MPAL audio wireless and there's a model number but what I noticed that uh, on the box it doesn't mention anywhere that you know this is the H10 model or this is the 2019 edition so I have a feeling that you know they're just uh, kind of uh, making a basic uh, box to keep cost lower and then probably they would ship other models with the same box just changing the model number right here so here we have uh, hi-fi audio hands-free calling, uh, closed back ear cushions and noise elimination and on the other side of the box some more specs and it's supposed to have uh, 30 hours uh, battery time and here is on the other side of the box and I'll just set it aside and look at what else came inside the box so they added a micro USB cable uh, this is to charge the headset and uh, or charge the battery and then there's a 3.5 uh, audio jack and this is to you know uh, listen to your music from your cell phone or uh, tablet directly if you don't want to use the Bluetooth and then uh, there's some there's a card here so this is just you know how to connect it to your TV using the uh, Bluetooth and then there's a small flyer here not much and then here's a card about giving you the warning and other things you need to know for example not to wear this too long or uh, how to charge this and then there is even a small brochure or manual and here you can see that it says H10 model and noise reduction headphone okay so I'll just quickly show you this one they have actually included a bag or cover case as well so this is some sort of fabric it looks like it feels like suede but it's probably just you know synthetic fabric type of material uh, they didn't include any hard case to keep the cost low but you can easily buy a separate hard case if you'd like and now let's look at the actual uh, headphones so this is how it looks so the good thing about this that you know it folds down to keep you know uh, the space minimal that way you can uh, take it with you when you travel and it doesn't take up much space because you can just you know put it in your bag but if you don't like that then you can even fold it the way and you can keep it this way as well so the ear muffs they fold down and there's it like in a snap uh, and then if you fold down and they looks like they swivel both ways and I can see that there is a adjuster here so you can adjust it by sliding it up or down and same thing here you can slide it up or down and then there's actually a meter or scale so you can just make it both sides uh, same for example if you're using four let's say here you can do the same thing to make it four right here now the material is some sort of uh, definitely this is a plastic uh, actually 
hard plastic and uh, the head uh, rest is hard plastic as well but there's uh, some sort of cushioning right here to make it feel comfortable and it feels actually good when I'm holding it and the ear padding is uh, it feels good as well and they mentioned in the website that you know this is made of soft protein so it feels good and then here is we have the active noise ANC button or active noise cancelling button and then here we have a power button right here and this is forward uh, button uh, these two uh, or you can skip like in a track uh, with using these two and this one can be used to pause or play it looks like it and then definitely it's a power and then here is the charging uh, micro USB charging slot so you can just charge by putting in uh, the cable which is this one right there and then what else I can see is here is the 3.5 audio jack input and uh, this way if you don't want to use Bluetooth then you can just use you know the audio cable directly to uh, listen to your music there's a right and left mentioned right here so you can easily know which side is where so what I'll do let's try turning it on and see what happens okay so I turn it on and it's giving the blue flashing blue so what I'm going to do I'll power it with my headphone and with my cell phone and I'll just you know try the music and I'll uh, let you know you know how good is the sound quality or how good is an active noise cancellation to pair the device with uh, your Bluetooth uh, you have to actually hold it for a few seconds uh, you cannot just uh, you know turn it on so for example if you just press it and hold it then you'll see the flashing red okay so right now you can see the flashing blue and red so that means it's trying to pair with your uh, with your mobile phone and on your mobile phone or cell phone you'll see that mpo h10 and then that's how you know that you know you're going to pair it with the headset Hello everyone, uh, sorry about the low light because uh, the outside just got very dark and it started raining so I had to turn on uh, the light inside and it's a little bit darker now. So what I did, uh, I tried uh, both uh, NC on and off and uh, what I noticed that uh, when NC is on then the sound, uh, it sounds a little bit better and in terms of sound quality it's not bad. Uh, it's uh, you can you can hear like you know instruments and everything separately and it sounds very uh, clear and uh, there's no distortion or anything but I didn't uh, go up to full volume uh, because I don't uh, I never play anything in full volume so up to the medium volume or up to let's say 75 percent 65 percent it was pretty well and in terms of noise cancellation I tried uh, noise uh, keeping my TV on and uh, it was not able to cancel the noise 100% but it did a fairly good job uh, cancelling the noise so I would say could be probably 60-70% noise cancellation but I tried uh, airplane uh, sound uh, by asking a uh, smart speaker Alexa to you know play airport uh, sorry play airline uh, sound and it was able to cancel airline sound almost 100% so if you're using this at in, in an airplane which is uh, most of uh, you know uh, those who buy smart uh, noise cancelling headphones to use in an, uh, inside an airplane or inside a train so my uh, guess would be that you know uh, you can use this inside an airplane and it should be able to uh, cancel noise uh, if it's not 100% almost 80 to 90% uh, but uh, what I tried at home it cancelled pretty uh, good but in terms of other noises it's not going to cancel everything 100% but it does a good job uh, cancelling uh, like a good uh, portion of it so I don't have any complaints there and uh, because you know if you compare the price this is not a $400 Sony or $500 Sony or Bose so 
the cost uh, is regular price of this device is uh, about 80 Canadians and if you can you can even grab it on sale uh, for a lower uh, price so comparing what you're paying and uh, what you're getting uh, there's no complaint there but definitely this is not going to work like very high-end uh, you know or expensive uh, noise cancelling headphones I, I believe I forgot to mention uh, the other time that uh, here actually these two are volume and you can go ahead skip music or, or like you know uh, go backward uh, to go to the track before or you can skip and you can use these are also work these two also work as a volume button volume up and down and uh, if you don't have the battery then you can actually just uh, plug it in and it can still play you don't need power uh, if you're not using bluetooth but the active noise cancellation is not going to work without uh, the power so it, and uh, it's supposed to have 30 hours uh, battery life which is fairly good and it can be good for most of us to in through a long flight because it's very unlikely that you're gonna have a flight uh, more than 24 hours so 30 hours should be good enough to you know make you go through any flight and in terms of uh, comfort I didn't have any problem with uh, the comfort level so it fits very well in my head and I feel very comfortable so I have no complaints there and uh, the cushion here actually uh, helps and then the ear padding ear muff padding they're very good as well and uh, everything else I'm uh, happy with the purchase I have no complaints uh, and uh, you know you cannot compare this with a very expensive uh, headset uh, so this is uh, you know uh, below hundred dollars and in terms of what you're getting uh, definitely this is worth the, the money you're paying so that's all about Empel H10 dual mic active noise cancelling headphones 2019 forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video Thank you for watching and I'll see you shortly.